Jordan. 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 All right, so um, I have made the poppers, uh, the ghost chili poppers. You can see them here. That's a uh, <laughs> uh, piece of string cheese in case it gets too hot. There's uh, black gloves because I'm actually afraid to touch them. Um, those right there are the ghost chili or bujolokia uh, peppers, and those are our habanero poppers that I've made before. So let's get the gloves on here and then I can uh, show you these. Uh, and it's mostly the, the reason for the gloves really is just uh, I don't want to touch other things uh, and then get a surprise later. So uh, with the gloves, since these are fairly greasy, um, I know for sure that when I take them off I'll have a clean environment. So. And since we're doing this for science, you know, it is uh, relevant to talk about safety first. Uh, and then also, you know, having a, a clean environment for your for your experiments. So, um, let's take a look at this guy. So, you can see here, uh, you see a little bit there. Um, you can almost see the edge of it. Let's see if we in this other one we can... Oh yeah, there you go. You can see the the ghost chili in there, that little red guy. It's actually uh, lightened up quite a bit. It was a darker red. Uh, there was cream cheese in that side. So, um, all I have is some water and that string cheese. So, uh, here's my small glass of water. We'll see how much of it I need. Um, the, the thing about this, and I mentioned in my other video, is that um, capsaicin is fat soluble. So, uh, since we're using cream cheese and bacon, and it actually cooks out quite a bit, which you'll see in the, the blog, um, I think these aren't going to be as bad as a regular ghost chili. Now, I've ever, never had a ghost chili, and, and quite honestly, I'm, I'm reasonably terrified. Uh, my heart's racing, and I'm thinking about eating this thing. Um, but I think there's a pretty high probability that it's just going to be unpleasant, uh, that it won't be destructive. But I will tell you what, I am uh, I am not certain. Uh, so, I'm just going to eat one of these and, and see what happens. I could sit here and talk about it for a while, uh, but there's only, there's only one way to find out. That is impressively hot. Wow. That is quite warm. Um, <laughs> it's not excruciating. Uh, my body is definitely unhappy. I almost have the hiccups, they'll, they'll come in a moment. Um, I mean, it's no hotter than maybe like a fresh habanero, though. That's really quite interesting. I mean, like you said, you know, like you saw, I just took a, a bite of it, right? Um, and it's hot, but I'm still able to talk and, and everything, and it's it's warming up. It's going to linger. Uh, I'm very specifically not going to drink any water uh, or anything else, and we'll see how this how this heat builds up. But I definitely think that that, that proves the fact that it, it has uh, diluted it down quite a bit, because uh, I'm, I'm fairly certain if I ate one of these regularly, which I'm not going to do, um, because that has no no real learning value, uh, that I would be in a world of hurt. Um, now, I have eaten fresh habaneros, uh, and this probably, this may not even be as, as hot as that. It's a, it's a very lingering, strong heat, but let's uh, let's go for the rest of it. Let's see that a little bit. You can see right there that my friends is, is ghost chili. Um, you can see my hand shaking a little bit. Um, let's let's get the rest of this guy in there and, and see how much hotter it gets because you know have say some builds. So let's see. Hmm. Oh. 
I don't know if I can actually describe the uh, the flavor that the ghost chili is producing. By the way, you can't see it in my goggles, but I think they're fogging up, uh, and I can barely see now because. Uh, but I can't touch my face, so I'm kind of blind at this point, and I'm crying in the goggles. So, <clears throat> um, but I, I I tear up with even mild spice from an incident. Um, that's it's really quite hot now. And my whole tongue feels like it's on fire, more or less. Uh, it's very it's overwhelming. Like my gums and everything even feel like they're hot. Um, we'll give it a minute and see what it does. <clears throat> I think that's as much as it's going to build up. It's hot. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not freaking out or anything, but I really like spicy food. But I think my tongue's actually going numb now. That is, uh, it was quite warm. Uh, I wouldn't, oh, wow. I wouldn't, uh, advocate that for the, uh, the casual spice eater. But if you really dig hot stuff, that's, uh, that's kind of a cool experience. Uh, the cream cheese is good. You get, really get the pepper flavor. Uh, it's uh, one of the warmer things you'll probably experience without without going into like crazy land, and that's the thing about it. Is a lot of people want to eat that spicy stuff, and it's just super unpleasant. This is really quite interesting, and you really get a lot of flavor that I don't think you could get uh, anywhere else. Um, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. We'll see how it goes here. Um, took the gloves off. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm starting to sniffle now. I think, like, the front of my tongue has basically gone numb. So, oh, I can't touch my water either because I touched it with the gloves. So you can see actually in here, you can see how much I teared up inside my goggles. Um, yeah, that's one. Oh. Warm, but I think that that validates the point that the. Um, oh yeah, I feel great now because it's like subsiding. It's like that really that endorphin rush is kicking in. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. Um, I saw some of the habanero ones, and I know that those are actually pretty good. And those are not nearly as hot. Uh, I might actually cool off with one of those. Um, very interesting. I don't know that I would make the uh, the ghost sleep poppers again. I might make them for a uh, um, a crowd or for like you know dinner party or something. People can try them, like try half of one. People are a little more adventurous. Uh, it's definitely not going to be something that's on my my regular to eat list. But I'm glad I tried it. Uh, honestly, that that did not suck nearly as bad as I thought it was going to. I I really thought I was going to be pounding water and eating the cheese and uh, and whatnot, but. No, that turned out real well. Um, I actually probably will will eat the other one later, just to see uh, if it's you know see what the experience like. See if I can get more flavor notes off of it. Um, so I'm gonna eat the cheese now because again, since capsaicin is fat soluble or oil soluble, when you're trying to get rid of spice, water isn't really that great. You might ask why did I why did I bring water? Well, it's cold. And I have a lot of it. No, I don't have milk. That's why. Um, if I were actually going to do this and I thought it was going to be really, really bad, what you would want is yogurt or ice cream or something like that that would numb your tongue and also move the uh, you know move the spice away, dilute it even more, or maybe even cold cream cheese might work. Something like that. Um, just trying to do water. All water does really is if you think about it, the way that water and oil spreads. You put water in your mouth and it's just going to actually spread the capsaicin around your mouth even more. Which just makes it suck more. So, but cream cheese seems to work pretty well too. So there you have it, ghost chili poppers. Not terrible. Worth a try. I mean, if you're adventurous, I'd say pick some up, try it out. Um, very interesting. So, yeah, like my. Oh, yeah, there's a genuine tear right there. Woo. There we go. Doing some science. And, you know, making reasonably delicious food. 